This is just a short video to announce the release of a new software version. Download links will be shown at the end of this video. Foremost, this new version works on the Raspbian 10 Buster, which the previous version didn't. This new release also includes several bug fixes and other improvements. Amongst other things, it has enhanced configuration options and a new comprehensible configuration file. If you upgrade from earlier versions, it is important to note that the DuPont connections have been rewired. So, if you upgrade, it is vital that you either rewire the connections or adjust the config file according to your setup. Be careful to consult the build manual before upgrading. Furthermore, the test programs have been improved. There are also two new test programs to assist in building and testing a clone. Also, it is possible to automatically save frames that the software fails to interpret. This feature is enabled in a config file and comes in handy if your device refuses to calibrate or if you are experiencing a lot of failed frame readings. I also like to take the opportunity to present two hardware improvements that have been implemented. This is how the backside of the interface panel used to look – a mess of cables. I have added an interposition circuit board that facilitates neater cable drawing. The Raspberry Pi now connects with one single flat DuPont cable. This update is comprehensively described in the build instruction. Furthermore, I have added a quick coupling between the feeding unit and the electronics compartment. It facilitates easier and faster disassembly. This new software version is accompanied with a new updated 76 pages build instruction and a new improved 22 pages user manual. Well, this was all for now. The download links will follow. By watching this video, you are supporting the development of Psyrad. Thank you for your support. The software is released as freeware, and the documents are also free of charge.